Garrett, was there any thoughts of just banging this totally? No. With the rain? No. Okay. And how did it go? Good. Yeah. It got a good amount of work in, pushed the volume a little bit, made some good pitches. So it's a good day. Thank you. Oh, and also, how good is it to see Aaron back uh, at the complex with you guys? Yeah, it was a nice surprise. Uh, I thought he was going to be able to get in here tomorrow, but he got in today early. So um, it's uh, good to see him back and uh, feeling good. Thank you. Dan Martin, you have the next question. Please unmute. Garrett, what are the differences uh, in, in a workout like this as opposed to pitching in, in, in an actual spring training game? Were you able to get the same kind of work in that you would have pretty much if you had gone to Bradenton? I think the uh, adrenaline is not the same, but um, I mean, at this point, it's like not that big of a, it's not that big of a change. Um, certainly like having to throw you know, five or six innings in a scenario like this, as opposed to a spring training game might be a little bit more different, but right now, um, you know, it's, it's just about pitches and, and uh, we'll settle into the game atmosphere uh, next Friday. So. Marla Rivera, please unmute. Or Thursday. I don't know. Um, hi, Garrett. Uh, we saw you working today with Robinson Chirinos. Um, how was that? And also, if you can talk to us about uh, Aaron told us you threw about 50 pitches. Um, how did that feel and how are you on schedule? Yeah, it was good working with Robbie. He was uh, brought some energy today. He was loud, um, always having fun, smiling. And um, we hit, we got 50 pitches and uh, uh, threw a good mix. Um just focused mostly on attacking hitters today, uh, attacking the strike zone. Um, and I thought that we got ourselves in good leverage, which kind of allowed me to be uh, a little more uh, aggressive on the corners in some situations, which helped me get some feel. So it was good. Go next to Sweeney Murdy. Hey, Garrett, last week, Marcus Timms said his group had a chance to hit with some of the new baseballs, and they didn't notice much of a difference at that point. I'm wondering if you've had a chance to, you know, throw some of the new balls or uh, work with them at all, and maybe what your thoughts are on that. Yeah, they confirmed with us shortly after I spoke here that, you know, we were integrating all the new balls into our throwing, and so we've been using them, uh, and certainly in the games, uh, in you know, I, I haven't thrown in a game where I'm, you know, really going through like four or five boxes of balls, but I would say that, um, I mean, I just noticed that they're, they're consistent. Uh, you know, I'm not seeing as much inconsistency in the, uh, uh, the seams pretty much. They've, they've been, they've been relatively consistent. And, and how do you mean consistent? How, like, in, in what um, way? like, you know, we were seeing seams that were like pulled apart, right? Like by the leather. I'm, I'm sure you picked up a few balls over the years, and they, um, and, or or you know, a large seam, or or maybe even like a, a a deviation in the horseshoe, like a wiggle. And I just haven't. I you know, I don't know. I, I don't know how many I'd have to go through to find something like that before. But I, I haven't come across anything like strikingly, strikingly weird. Uh, which, which has been, which is new. So that's are you, good. are you finding them comfortable? Are you finding yeah, them easy I'm to work with? Comfortable. I'm finding that the grip is consistent. So thank you. Eric Bolin, please unmute. Gary, what, what's most important to you this time of year, strictly how you're feeling physically or how hitters are responding to your stuff? What, what at this, you know, stage is, primary for you i would you know i just have to say at this point like probably just feeling good <laughs> like you know it's such a long season and it's so it's so important to get out of the gates physically in a good spot um you know uh, the games are important in april and we're, we're trying to win but you know there is there is the summer to to settle into the most important games which we play at the end of the year um you know 
with that said, whatever hitters are telling you is, is the truth. Uh, and so anytime you can get good feedback, you know, you're, you're, you're happy there and you're always, you know, always looking for, for positive attributes in your pitch, uh, whether it be, you know, deception or, or extra break and, and the hitters will let you know based on, you know, the type of swings that they're taking, but first and foremost, you know, uh, you, you can't really, you know, you can't, you got, you got to get out of the gate. You got to get out of the gate healthy to, to be able to run the whole race. So that's probably the most important. Dave Lennon, please unmute. Hey, Garrett, that, that was interesting what you had said about the balls only because, you know, MLB had mentioned that, you know, the manufacturing specs had to do with the bounciness really kind of coefficient of it. But to think they're being more consistently made in your experience seems to be a pretty big advantage for the game. The fact that you know what you're dealing with from, from ball to ball now. Yeah. I mean, again, like I, I hope I don't have to keep ask, answering questions about it, but I mean, cause you know, the, the, the landscape's never been unfair. Right. Um, right. So, I mean, we're all playing with the same thing, but uh, you know, I'm not the, I, I'm certainly not the only guy that, that had noticed stuff in the last few years. Um, and in my short experience right now, I just haven't had to, I haven't come across anything strikingly weird, which, like I said, I have come across that before. So uh, that's small sample size, like I said, but that's, that's, that's all I got for now. All right. Thanks, Gary. We go to, we go to uh, Pittsburgh writer, uh, Rob Beer Temple. I hope I didn't butcher that too bad. No, he did. It's good. <laughs> hey, G, how you doing, man? Hi, Rob. Hey, uh, you know, the rain kind of messed up a pretty good storyline today with uh, with you and J-Mo both scheduled to pitch. What, what's it been like working with J-Mo in this camp and and maybe, you know, kind of touching base with him as, as he's bouncing back from that second TJ surgery? Yeah, it's been fun to watch. He's, you know, uh, reinvigorated and um, you know, excited to get back on the mound. You know, these first few times when – guys are coming off that surgery and they're getting inserted in the competition is, is, is just, you know, it's just always kind of a special moment for them. So uh, when you're around, you know, when you're around that or when you have the opportunity to be around that and, you know, we, he's not the only one in camp, Adam, Adam was, you know, in the same situation and you just kind of get like a warm feeling about it when you, you know, cause you know how long the rehab is and how much it means to them, even though it's like on the backfield at one o'clock. So, you know, having hitting some of those, checking some of those boxes with him um, has been has been cool uh, and, and, a, and a really nice opportunity. Um, and, yeah, I think he's really throwing the ball well just to be I mean, he was really sharp the other day. Uh, so enough with the sentimental. He's looks really good. And, um, you know, that's that's good for us. That's good for the Yankees. So I heard you lobby for that trade. <laughs> not hard not hard i i i again i just spoke i just spoke uh i just spoke about my feelings about a good friend which is is not is not hard to do thanks g yeah garrett thank you for the time everybody will uh rejoin you um yeah from wherever we're playing